Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome to Sleepy Grip. I'm currently sitting in my Volvo 850R, which I purchased a few months ago, and with the help of some of the guys on the channel, we've been doing our best to bring it back to its former glory. So at this point in time, the car is post-motor swap, it's home, it's running, which is new, and I'm doing my best to drive it around here and there to make sure that everything is tight, tidy, and functioning the way it's supposed to be. And with that mechanical baseline, the next biggest issue facing this car is the cosmetics. As you can tell from these cinematic clips, the paint on this car is pretty faded. Luckily for me, this car, just like Danny's Ready 30, is a single stage paint job from factory. And so what Dom was able to do with that E30 paint is making me pretty confident that we can bring this car back to a really nice shine. But in the meantime, I'd like to tackle some of the aspects of this car's interior to get it cleaned up finally and just make the car more enjoyable to drive. So let's get to it. What's up, buddy? Good morning. So just as I wrapped up doing the interior, Dom showed up. Good morning. With a couple of extra products for the carpet. So the next step, I think, is going to be this pilling, kind of damaged Alcantara, as you guys can see. Let me see if I can Did get you say a better. Pilling? It's isn't it pilling? I think it's pilling when it does this. I thought you were trying to say peeling. No, not peeling. Pilling. And I looked up at some some techniques on YouTube to see how people go about getting it back, that's really bright. Getting it back to where it's supposed to be. And method one was sanding, actually, which I had no idea that was even a thing. You go from anywhere between 60 to 2,000 grit in stages and try to sand it back down. You're right, it is pilling. See? My apologies. There we go. Sand it down and try to get it back. The other method I saw was with an actual lint shaver, just an electric shaver. So I figured that was safer. I bought that, so I think that's gonna be the first attempt to see how this comes out. I mean, that's working. I kind of feel like I'm at the shop giving somebody a skin fade right now. See that? Car value just went up by $1,500, just for that. So just to give a 50-50, a few passes with the shaver there and nothing there. You can definitely see that it looks a lot better already. There's a couple of little spots where I want to get in there in a way where this shaver doesn't reach. And I know I made a joke about it earlier, but honestly, check this out. All of this is just from the driver's seat. I don't wanna bore you guys with the same footage, so I'm going to repeat the same process on the rest of the seats, and then I'll show you what they look like before we actually use a cleaning agent. So the rears were in much better shape than the front, didn't require a lot of shaving at all, to be honest. And now it's time to put some Alcantara cleaner on this and see if we can bring back a little bit of the darkness to this, this material.
So I think I'm gonna wrap it up for today. Uh, it's getting a little windy out. I'm starting to lose sunlight. I'm pretty happy with what was accomplished today. I think we're gonna go back into it tomorrow morning, get the door cards settled in, get the carpets cleaned, and then see what it looks like then. So see you tomorrow. The carpet looks so much better. The car just feels way, way cleaner and more comfortable. So I didn't get to the carpet portion of the door cards or the floor mats, but I figured that was enough carpet cleaning footage for you guys. So I'll take care of that later during the week. But aside from that, I know we're not doing the paint correction for a while, but to finish this off, I think I'm gonna give it a wash as well. So I know it's not super accurate, but we can pretend that this is what the paint will look like after it's corrected. That'll pretty much wrap up the video. I'm glad we got all that done. The car is kind of now cosmetically at a, at a stage zero, as the Volvo people like to refer to. And uh, I think it'll give Dom a better idea of what he needs to do and what we can accomplish when we actually go really, really deep into this car. So thank you for watching. Appreciate your time. And uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button, all right? We'll see you soon.